The Motorstorm series has already sent you careening off muddy cliffs and plowing through pools of molten lava. Now with Arctic Edge, you can hop in a snow machine and race through drifts of slippery snow. Arctic Edge may be portable, but it otherwise encapsulates all the pros and cons of this series' fast-paced off-road racing. Right now, online connection issues are a problem, so your multiplayer mayhem may be limited to local ad hoc races. Yet MotorStorm Arctic Edge mostly overcomes this and other foibles by letting you take to the unique courses and get rowdy. Like with its console brethren, racing in Arctic Edge is all about flexibility. Each of the 12 courses includes multiple routes, each one suited to a particular class of vehicle. The vehicle classes include some returning favorites, such as the ever-popular buggy and the bouncy but responsive ATV. There are some new additions as well, like snow machines, which feel squirrely but are good at drifting. Each vehicle type has three varieties to choose from, with subtle differences in speed, acceleration, toughness, and handling. And you can customize your appearance with liveries earned as you play. And as MotorStorm fans would expect, how you tackle each race depends on the vehicle you choose. Arctic Edge's snowy courses are consistently good across the board. You've got Northern Face with its precarious cliffs and underground caverns, the twisty turns of the attractive looking log jam, and the overall versatility of the complex Eagle Falls. Like the previous MotorStorm games, choke points are still a greater hazard than you'd expect. The AI is never as concerned with winning as it is with making you lose. Rather than taking the best possible route, big rigs and snow pluggers will crowd you with the explicit intention of making you suffer. This won't happen for a little ways into the festival though, which is the main single player mode. The first half of that mode is rather easy, so you'll probably take and keep an early lead until you reach the higher levels. After that, you'll need to make sensible use of your boost capabilities and be extra cautious as you barrel through the canyons. There are a few other ways to race offline as well, such as time attack mode and free races. But if you wanted to race against others, you should be aware that right now, Arctic Edge has some online connection issues. We've only been able to successfully connect once to an online lobby. Every other time, the game freezes, and then the PSP crashes a few moments later. Other players are reporting similar issues, so if you want to compete with others, the best way to do so right now is in ad hoc mode. It's worth noting that Arctic Edge looks and sounds really good. There's a terrific sense of speed, and the frame rate is always really smooth, even when the screen is crowded. The vehicles look chunky, but courses are packed with meticulous details, like hot air balloons and giant overhead screens that display the action in real time. The lighting is pretty, and the weather effects are excellent, so all in all, Arctic Edge is a pleasure to look at. The soundtrack doesn't hit all the right spots in the way previous MotorStorm soundtracks did, but the sound effects are fantastic and nail that rambunctious MotorStorm vibe. It's a testament to Arctic Edge's intricate tracks and energetic racing that its notable problems are so easy to overlook. Aside from its online issues, this is what you'd expect from a MotorStorm game in portable form, and the multifaceted courses and vehicle variety provide plenty of reasons to keep returning. It had plenty of room for improvement, but the basic racing is so wild that you'll probably be able to overlook the flaws.